Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to take you guys through the process of building the upper part of Flash. I normally build up to the final product, but since I already showed you guys my finished Flash, I think I'm gonna have to go in reverse. Get it? Reverse Flash. Because some of y'all have been asking for a more in-depth tutorial. And uh, yeah, this video is for those of y'all that need a little more time. Hope you guys dig it. Alright, so let's start off with the pecs, because I like starting off with the pectorials. Uh, these templates you can find on my website. I use this for almost all my cosplay builds because it works for me. The only difference between this and all my other ones are the accents, because the color schemes and the accents definitely sets it off. I'm applying some contact cement to all my edges, and I use a squeegee to squeegee it in, or push it in, and then wait for it to dry and once it's all dry then these pieces should contact instantly when I cut the upper pecs I do it in a slight angle and the lower pec just straight when I glue them together it should give you this little cool formation then I trim the center so that they would meet perfectly and then I'll apply some glue and then attach them together just like that now that the pecs are done, let's move along to the abdominal area. I'm using a template that I use to cut my fabric and then I'm going to draw everything on to some poster board paper. I'm just drawing whatever I think looks good. I'm following my reference picture but I'm not really aiming for perfection. I'm just doing the best that I can. And then once I'm done with that, then I'll cut all my templates out so I can transfer these patterns over to some 5mm craft foam. I'm I'm carefully tracing all my designs on the craft foam and once I do one then I'll flip it over and then I'll have the other side so that it'll be symmetrical. Right here I'm working on the accents that's going to go on to the chest area which is kind of cool because I was able to fit all of my patterns onto one sheet of craft foam. I'm cutting all my patterns out in a beveled angle so that way I don't have to do any sanding. As soon as I get it all cut out, everything will be beveled already. You're going to want to make sure you remember where all these pieces go because after I cut everything out, I threw away all my templates. I'm applying some heat to the chest piece accents so that it'll curve around the chest area nice and better. And then I'm going to draw up my lines. This is where I'm going to put my glue down. And you also want to make sure everything is in the right spot before you glue it down. I'm going back and trimming out some access material. This part right here kind of prevents me from crossing my arm. So I'm just making it a little bit smaller. Now I'm using my nifty little tube glue applier. I don't know what you call that, but yeah, it seems legit to me. And then I'm gonna use my squeegee and then spread everything around. When you use a squeegee or scrap foam, the glue seems to dry a lot quicker. Right here, I am trying to draw out the lightning bolt and so far it's looking somewhat like a lightning bolt and I'm just gonna roll with it because it's good enough for me. And then I'm gonna take my razor blade and I'm gonna cut in an angle. This will give it that beveled look of a lightning bolt on flash but it's probably the best I can get using craft foam and a razor blade. I used a bottom of can to determine the perfect radius of this circle. You can probably use anything that's round. That's all entirely up to you. I'm applying some contact cement and I'm going to use my circle disc and smear it all around just like that. I want to make sure everything is nice and on there because when you're traveling at light speed you don't want nothing falling apart. And you're going to have to stop in the middle of speed force to pick up your broken pieces which would be quite embarrassing. And once I got everything glued on I realized I got the lightning bolt on backwards but that's okay because it's just cosplay. Well actually it's meant to be backwards because it's the reverse flash. In case you haven't figured that part out yet. I'm working on the rib domino area. Yeah, that's the word now. And I'm sticking with it. I'm going to use some hot glue and apply all my pieces onto this outdoor sports fabric type material. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's like polyester-ish thingy. Picked it up from Walmart. It was like $5 a yard. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use hot glue and stick everything on there. 
hot glue is probably the best bet for this application unless you actually plan on traveling at the uh, speed of light then uh, you might need to find something stronger after I get all my pieces glued down what I'll do is I'll add a piece of board on top of it and then put some weight on top of that and then wait for everything to cool down I'm applying some contact cement to the part that's going to attach to the chest piece I usually go two coats both pieces and then I carefully attach everything together even though this side is got a texture it's still really smooth so you want to sand down all the smooth areas before you apply your contact cement so that it adhere better and now I got most of the front part done I can apply some heat close up the foam by sealing up the pores and getting all my shapes and forms together so far so groovy but we're not quite done yet i'm going to start working on the back this is actually the rib guard not rib guard the spinal guard and then i want to cut out my shoulder pieces and then flip that one over and cut out the other shoulder piece you want to make sure your back pieces are symmetrical and even and then you don't want to look funky and then you're going to glue it all together i'm not quite sure where i'm going with this quite yet but eventually i'll figure something out then i'm going to glue this piece to the bottom I normally apply some elastic with some velcro sewn onto it but I think I'm going to go a different route but we'll see once we get it all together and on my mannequin and then I'm going to trim that part off because it didn't look like it needed to be there and here is my back piece at the moment it looks pretty plain but I'm going to add some accents later and here I am cutting out the shoulder neck collar thingy that connects the front piece to the back piece it looks like that then I'm going to apply my contact cement to all the edges and once that is dried I'm going to carefully attach all my pieces together and now my upper armor piece is almost ready to wear and I can put it on make further adjustments and then I can also add the details to the back and whatever side I want to do Right here I am sketching out the neck blast guard or whatever you want to call that because I'm not sure what to call it and then I'm going to apply that to the neck piece. I do plan on making a neck cover in a future video but this right here will also help make the armor look really cool. In this little area, I sanded it down, put on some contact cement, and then I got some Velcro with an adhesive back end so I can stick it on there. And this piece is going to be glued to the back area, which is eventually going to connect to the rib domino piece. Just like that, and there you have it. It's pretty much wearable. Now I'm going to take a bunch of scrap foam and I'm going to make them useful. I'm just going to cut up a bunch of random shapes and designs and then I'm going to use that to glue onto my back pieces and I'm going to add some accents and areas that I think look plain so I can fill it in and make it look awesome and stuff, you know. I've searched the internet for some reference pictures of his back and I couldn't find any so I'm just winging it and doing it my way because it's my cosplay and I don't really care what anybody thinks, it's just cosplay bra. And now I am working on the cod piece because you want to protect your family jewels. Because you don't want to be traveling in the speed force and you got debris flying at you. But then again, is there any debris in the speed force? Can somebody tell me? I want the honest truth. And don't be making stuff up, please. So this concludes the upper body build. Alright, I hope you guys dig the video. I hope y'all learned something. If you guys like the old format or this new format of me doing tutorials, let me know in the comment section below because I might start doing more of these depending on how many people actually like it. I have the basic templates for the armor on my website which I will leave links in the description below. Now as for all the accents, I kind of free handed everything so hopefully y'all paid really close attention to how I did it. If not, you know, you can always go back and watch it. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more awesome builds, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social network. I'll see you guys later.